So 2020 was crazy. I remember Jacob and I were just trying to figure out what we were gonna do. We caught wind of the Wonder Years and they told us that it kind of centered around the screenwriter's real life. And his father was one of the original members of the Commodores and this was gonna be set in 1960s and that they wanted the music to kind of mirror the world of soul and funk. So we got really excited. COVID restrictions let up and they were gonna start filming and they wanted us to try our hand at the pilot. What's crazy is the show starts out talking about the landscape that was the 60s. There was a pandemic. There was a crazy election. There was all sorts of social upheaval. And there's a joke where they say it's not even talking about 2020. And it puts it in this through line, this bird's eye view where you realize like, yo, the human condition is a human condition. But to center it around a family coming up in Alabama and a young kid exploring the world about to be a teenager. How does that world sound as a black child growing up in the 60s? All in the context of integrating a school. You know, at the root of the original series, you always felt heart. And when you listen to the 60s, Otis Redding, Marvin Gaye, it's so human when you hear it. It just sounds like if you went to hear the band live, that's what they sound like. And that's the way we're trying to create the soundscape to help tell this story. You can't fake the emotion of live music. And I think that's why we wanted to take the time to make sure every piece of this had that organic feel so you could feel authentic emotions while you're seeing the story unfold. Our musicians are the life of this music. The type of music that we get to write, it's like a dream gig for us. And then on top of that, we're working with incredible writing, incredible acting, incredible directing, this is the kind of music we listen to when we drive around in our cars. So to get to make this kind of stuff and paint with these colors and instrument sounds, it's, it's a dream. There's no way that either one of us would have been able to survive on this project on our own because we're not just creating 1968-era music. We're not just creating gospel cues. We're literally combining all things together and creating a story for everybody to enjoy. This particular project draws on every asset of our musical background and ability. You'll hear a piece of music and it might sound like a band, but it morphs and changes and it acts and supports the story like score. And that's what's so exciting about this is this show demands that. And we, you know, got a shout out to Imani for always throwing those ideas at the filmmakers. Everybody knows the Wonder Years. And when you have these voices that come from the time period, that come from the creators, it just gives this sense of authenticity that we're definitely happy to have. Summer.